Hi, it's Adrian, and it's just about Halloween, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a look. Um, this mask that I actually picked up over at uh, Walgreens, and um, I don't know who the company is who does these. It's not listed on here, um, but uh, they're really cute. So um, if you do happen to see one, I would definitely suggest put, or going ahead and picking them up. They're really well made. And as far as what I did today, um, I did go ahead and use some other uh, products that I haven't used in a while. And so I started by getting out the Alpha Soft Glam Foundation, and I have mine in Fair Cool. So that's the base color that I started with. I did mix in some of the e.l.f. bronzing drops. This is in rose gold. And I also used some of the Lumi Glotion. And this one is by L'Oreal. It's a 902. It's the lightest one I think they have out there. So um, I did go ahead and mix all these to go ahead and get the base. And um, I haven't really used Soft Glam. Uh, I tested it out a while ago, and I really thought that since it's really a thicker kind of formula, that's something that I would like more in the fall and the winter. And since it's the fall and the winter, I decided to go ahead and start um, working with this. And then as far as what I did for the cheeks today, um, I guess I should start with bronzer and in saying that I really don't like bronzers that are based in yellow or orange. Uh, they usually don't work for me. So when everybody was talking about all the hourglass everything I was and all the new palettes coming out and being, you know, you get five new shades and there's six, six shades total. And I was just like, well, I don't know if I'm that interested in it. And then um, I did actually see their dark palette, and that's more of the tones that I like to use, so I did go ahead and pick it up. And um, I do have the bronzer on here, and the bronzer it definitely has a red undertone to it, so I'm liking that quite a lot. Um, this red blush, I have this one on as well, and I'm liking it as well. And then I did go ahead and do this one as the topper. And I don't think it went too orange for me. Um, it is highly pigmented. Of course, I like to wear a lot of blush, so I build it up a lot anyway. This particular color, um, if I want to do an orange blush, I can go ahead and use this color. And then this one is going to be more of a, even though it's coming off sort of rosy, I think it's more of a mauve, to tell you the truth. So this is the only shade in this palette that's turned out to be problematic for me. But like I said, if I go ahead and go with a, a peachy look or something where I can do more of an orange, um, you know, base, then this one will work. But I am liking this palette a lot. And I went ahead and took a chance on it just because I really like the colors and I got to swatch it in store. And I didn't think that it was going to cause me a problem. And I don't think it did cause me a problem. So I, I think it looks good. Um, Again, I like to wear my blush a little bit darker, so um, I, and Hourglass, they just do the best packaging, and if you look at their products, I mean, it's done, they, it's done with technology, and they're, um, I've always really loved their setting power powders because they give you a glaze over the skin, and a few tips, um, if you're going to be uh, going ahead and using these, uh, definitely go ahead and use all of them because the more the bronzer and the blush and uh, the topper of the highlight, they're all made to go together. And then you throw in some of the setting powders, and I don't have one of those on today, but you throw in a setting powder and you put it all over your face, and then you do a, a 
face mist, a setting mist, um, whatever you happen to have, and it'll create this beautiful glaze over your face that maybe doesn't show up on camera, but in real life, it just gives you a really healthy, really alive kind of look to it. So I knew I'd love the hour the hourglass powders it just I didn't know that um, I would actually like the palette that really wasn't made for me but I gave it a chance and I think it's working and I kind of like the way that it's working and I knew that I really liked the way that the powders blend together like I was saying if you're going to use one of them go ahead and use all of them you might as well because they all blend beautifully together um, I didn't let's see which one is this one I did use a base for my blush because I still have oily skin and I usually have to, like I said, put a lot on to get it to stay for a while. And this one is shock value. And this is actually what I have on for my base. And this is by Wet n Wild. It's from the, um, let's see, Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's the base. Um, or it's um, a lip and cheek is what I meant to say. So, it, But I always use these for base for blush. So that's what I have on this base. And then I did go ahead and put these powders on top. And like I said, if you're going to use one, go ahead and use them all. Blend them together. Um, go ahead and use a face mist on top, especially if you're going to go ahead and use their finishing powders, definitely use a face mist on top. It'll just do this whole pretty glazed, blended look that's absolutely gorgeous. And unfortunately, I don't think it comes off as much on camera as it does in real life. It but um, like I said, I have the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter that I used as a topper on today. I did also go ahead and use Rare Beauty Mesmerize as far as the highlighter. So I do have some of that on as well. And then as far as what I did for the rest of the look, I did use Just Because. And this is by ColourPop. It's one of their crayons. And the Metaglow by Essence. So that's what I have on there. And again, it's all of a red base with a really poppin' eye look. And as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes today, I did use Paradise Cove. This one is by Gourmand Girls and by Ladybug Glow. And this was actually um, one of the ice cream uh, shadow palettes for September. Um, but it's still available on the Gourmand Girls website. And so the packaging, again, absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. So this is what I went ahead and used. And I did go ahead and use this one in my crease. Use this right above the crease. And then um, as far as in my outer corner, I went ahead and used this one in my outer corner. And so I used all the mattes from this palette. And then I used this one on the outer corner. And these are all multi-crumbs. And so that's what's on the outer corner. As far as the inner corner, I brought in a ColourPop Sh Super Shock, and this one is number, the shade is 10. And it's a really beautiful shade, and so um, it's a silver, and it has a lot of glitter in it, and I wanted something a little bit lighter, so I had that on the inner corner. I think that turned out really pretty. And, oh, I knew I'd forgotten something. Um, so... I did go ahead and use a little bit of this dark blue, and I actually took it from about the midway to the outer corner, and then I used it on top as far as an eyeliner. So I actually have both of these on as my eyeliner today. It's been a couple of hours since I did my makeup, so sometimes if I don't get to doing the video right away, I kind of have to remind myself what I did. But anyway, um, here's the way that the look came out. And so I think it turned out really pretty. Um, I'm having a really good time with all of the Gourmand Girls, and I've uh, gotten to try a couple of different palettes this year. So uh, really pretty formula and really spectacular multi-crumbs. And um, 
other than that, I think that's probably the video for today. Uh, but like I said, as usual, these are beautiful palettes. They really are. And this color story, like I said, I swatched it in the store and it's just like, that's the one that I want. And so I was really, I really didn't know if it would work at all, but I think that it kind of did. And so, yeah. I'm kind of happy about that and uh, would definitely recommend picking up any of their palettes. Um, they do these as uh, holiday launches every year and I think it's been like four or five years since I got one and so I was really happy with what I managed to pick up this year. And once again I've rattled on but I think that's probably the end of the video and I hope that you have a great day. Bye!